गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रन वेलकम टू ऑनलाइन एडू क्लासेस टूडे इन द सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू कवर अ चैप्टर कॉल्ड एज इनहेंसिंग अ प्रेजेंटेशन यू नो वॉट प्रेजेंटेशन प्रोवाइड्स वेरियस टूल्स एंड फीचर्स टू एनहेंस द अपियरेंस ऑफ प्रेजेंटेशन दिस स्पेशल इफेक्ट्स असिस्ट यू इन मेकिंग योर प्रेजेंटेशन एट्रैक्टिव इफेक्टिव एंगेजिंग and professional so now what's new to learn today so children will be able to understand about using animation and transition effects in powerpoint inserting sounds and video clips using action buttons as well as importing data from word and lastly we are also going to learn how we can share presentation online so now let's get started this is the first screen which appears whenever you will open microsoft powerpoint presentation you can start creating a new presentation by using a blank presentation or by choosing any of the themes or templates which is available over here you will get a variety of categories to select for making your presentation so now let's choose any of these templates and start making our presentation here it is now today our topic for the presentation is pollution and types here children we can begin making our presentation by adding some smart arts and of course some pictures so let's begin firstly let us select the new slide from the option new slide button which is available in home tab you can even create a new slide by pressing the shortcut key that is control plus m here i have chosen title and content slide now here we can give the title as introduction to pollution now after giving a title let us include a smart art for including a smart art you can click on to insert a smart art graphic icon over here or you can even click on to insert tab and select from the illustration group smart art smart art are the graphic elements that can be added to the presentation to make your presentation more attractive effective engaging and professional to add a smart art you can click on to the illustration group you'll get a smart art icon and here you can choose any of the smart art graphics from the list process cycle hierarchy and relationship and many more so let us select any of the smart art say suppose cycle here in cycle as you see you will get a various option of selecting the smart art you can choose any of these and click on okay button as soon as you click on okay button the format and the design tab automatically gets open these are the smart art tools now here you can change the color of your smart art by choosing any of the color options and selecting the smart art styles to give it a 3d look now you can place this smart art to any of the point in your in your slide so now we can write inside this types of pollutions so let us take some common types of pollution that is land water air noise so this is how we can edit the content inside the smart art now let us format the text style 
To format the text style, you just need to select the text inside the Smart Art. Click onto the Format group. Inside Format group, you will get a various options like Word Art Styles to select a particular word art for the text. So, here as you see, the Smart Art is ready. Similarly, we can even include some picture. To insert a picture, you have to click on Insert tab. In the Images group, you can see the option Pictures. Now, you can choose the picture from the device or you can even find the online pictures. So, I have one picture which is saved in my device. So, I will be choosing the picture from the device. So, when you select the picture from the device, automatically a dialog box will appear and now you have to select the location from where you have saved the pictures. Like here, I am selecting one by default picture which I will insert. So, this picture, after inserting it, it can be easily formatted using the formatting tools which is available in the picture tools. Now, this is how we put the pictures. We can even put some more pictures in our slide. So now, let us come to the next slide and here also we will add a text related to our topic that is pollution. So, what is pollution? Let us give this heading. What is pollution? Now, we can easily add some text related to the pollution and quickly decorate the text using the same formatting tool option which is available in the format tab. So here we selected the word style. Now even we can give it a shape style as well by choosing any of the color options which is available in the shape style group. Now here also we can add some more pictures from the device or from searching online. Now, to, you can easily adjust the picture to any of the location in your slide and give it a 3D look or format the picture using the picture style. So now, the second slide is ready. Now, Children, you remember about the animation and transition. So now let's add the two. For adding animation, you will have to click on animation tab. So here, what is animation? Animation is quite beneficial when you wish to focus on important points. It also controls the sequence of the flow, information, and helps in making information more impressive so click on the animation tab after selecting the content let us put animation from beginning so we will select the content now and now you can see the various options of animation which appears here you, uh, here you will get the entrance, emphasis, exit and many more. So entrance as the name suggests, this effect decides the manner in which an object enters into a slide during the slideshow. So let's say suppose we will choose float in. So this is the preview of the animation children. Now select the next text and add any of the animation effects like we 
so this is the entrance animation effect now let's come back to the second slide and add some more animation so as you see over here there is emphasis animation so let us give the emphasis animation like spin children emphasis animation determines how the object on the slide draws attention to themselves during the slideshow so here let us give the animation to the picture as well so now coming to the third slide we can apply the animation effects to the content by choosing the animation from the animation tab now exit animation as the name suggests it will control the manner in which the object exit from the slide during the slideshow so this uh, we use where uh, whenever we want uh, to uh, close the presentation or uh, in the end of the presentation so basically we can just go ahead with any of the options like uh, bounce from the entrance effect and even we can give the animation to the picture as well now after putting the animation we will have to learn about the transition so let's come to the first slide again now for adding the transition effect we should know what is transition Transition effects appears when one slide changes to another slide during the slideshow. So for this, you need to click on to transition tab and in the slide group you will get various transition effects for the slides. So we can choose any of the transition effects for the slide whichever you find is suitable for you you can go ahead with some of the transition effects now after this we will know about adding an audio sound effects can add a completely new di dimension to any presentation you can add sound in the form of a background music or special effects to give importance to specific content so for adding the sound you have to click on insert tab and click the audio drop down menu from the media group. You can add a audio which is saved already in your PC or else you can even record the new audio for your presentation. If you wish to add any audio from your computer so you need to choose audio on my pc option a dialog box will appear in which you have to choose the location where you have saved your musics it can be in any drive in any folder or also it can be in the desktop as well secondly if you wish to record the audio you can click on to the option record audio a dialog box will appear press this red button icon to record your sound say suppose I am recording over here let us click this red button nature is everywhere nature is everywhere you go everything that leaves and grows in nature animals big and small nature is plants that grow so tall Nature is beautiful in every way, wonderful, exciting and needs our care. So listen, learn and do your part to keep nature beautiful forever. So after recording your sound, you can see a speaker icon in the slide. This speaker icon can be adjusted in any part of the slide. When this speaker icon is clicked, you will see a format and the playback 
appears under the audio tools tab on the ribbon on the playback tab in the audio options group select either automatically or on click options or in a click sequence now you can also click the changes that you need to do with the audio like you can hide the audio which will be played during the slide show so you for that you just need to check the box hide during the show so children this is how we can add any audio in our slide now let us see how to add any video in the slide you know what video clips add liveliness to the presentation powerpoint allows you to insert a video onto a slide and play it during your presentation this is the wonderful features to make your presentation more engaging for the audience so let us give the heading as the story of pollution now for adding any video you can either insert the video which is from online or you can put the video by recording your own so for this you need to click on to the insert tab in the media group you will find a video option it will also provide you two options that is video on the device that is if you have already downloaded any video that can be easily inserted in this slide or else you can check the videos online let us insert a video from the device for this we have to click on insert tab and select the video which is already saved in the device you can see in the location where you have saved the video select the video and quickly insert it in your slide now as the video will be inserted children format and playback tool always appears as the video tools so you can give a different formatting feature to the video you can also put the video in any of the shapes which you like give it a border and as well as some nice effect to your video after this you can see the playback tool in this playback tool you can set the video starting options like how it will be played in a click sequence automatically or when clicked on so i am going ahead with this automatic option so as soon as the slide will appear this video will be played so now here what we will do is we will just arrange it properly in the slide and we are done with inserting the video. Children PowerPoint provides another facility to import data from other applications like Word, Excel etc. Importing data saves your time and efforts. For this uh, you can follow the step for importing any word file in any presentation like this so for this you have to click on to new slide button now from here you can select the option which is slides from outline so when you select this option a uh, dialog box uh, appears then here you can search any word file any excel file or any pdf file which you want to import in your presentation so let's say suppose i have uh, saved here a word file which is on the topic which we are making types of pollution so i am selecting this word file after selecting the word file you can click on to insert tab now that's it the word file will be inserted in your presentation so as you see the time which is required for adding the contents in your presentation is will be reduced 
so now you can uh, pay attention towards decorating the slide so this is very helpful we can also insert any already made ppt slides or uh, pdfs or any excel files in our slides so moving ahead you can see all the slides are being decorated with the content you can modify this content by uh, just uh, adding any formatting features like as you see the letters are quite big the text are very big so what i will do over here is i'll just select the text and click on to home tab and reduce the size as much we need according to our slides so similarly you can follow the process for adding the con contents and importing it in your presentation so uh, children i hope that you have understood how to import the word from a word file to your presentation and now let's see the usage of action buttons as well so the action buttons is basically helping you to link the slides with another slides you can even link uh, the uh, slides with uh, any of the url any of the document or video contents so for this you have to go in insert tab in the shape group you can see the options like the action buttons which is at the very bottom you just need to select any of these action button and draw it in your slides a dialog box will appear which will ask you whether you want to go ahead with a mouse click icon or mouse over icon now it will automatically hyperlink you can see the box is already checked you can just change the hyperlinked slide whether it can be a first slide last slide or it can be any url like i said already so i am just clicking on to the next slide uh, you can add the sound like uh any of the sound from the available list of sounds so this is how we add the action button so now let us do or oh, insert some more action buttons in our another slides same process click on insert tab go in action button and draw it in your slide choose the option whichever you want to choose from the hyperlink group or play the sound from the sound list and click okay so that's it similarly we can add the action buttons like forward and backward you can see in the insert tab we have uh, just uh, uh, options to add any forward action button or home button to go back to the first slide you will get a home button also now after this uh, this is the last uh, slide uh, so i will add an action button over here like uh, going to the big name so what will happen children when i'll press this action button in the end i will again hyperlink to the first slide means the presentation will take us to the first slide with a sound if you wish to add it now here we end up with making of the presentation and now now children let us see the slide show of our presentation this presentation which we had made today uh we'll begin with a slide show from beginning so this is the first transition which we had applied in our presentation along with the animation of the content as you see over here now this is the action button which we had learned how to add it so just i will click on to this action button it will take us to the next slide now here you will see another animation with the smart art that we had added in the beginning along with the picture 
and audio. Nature is everywhere. Nature is everywhere you go. Everything that leaves and grows in nature, animals big and small, nature is plants that grow so tall. Nature is beautiful in every way. Wonderful, exciting and leaves are here. So listen, learn and do your part to keep nature beautiful forever. So now children you have heard the audio which we had added by recording it. Next uh, let us go to the next slide by clicking on to this action button. Here you will see some pictures that we had added in the beginning by going to the insert tab along with the content as well. Now let us click on to the new slide. So again we will go ahead. Hello everyone. I am Rishen Bhattacharya from Class 6 Alpha. And today I am going to tell you about the types of pollution. There are four types of pollution. Air pollution, water pollution, land pollution and noise pollution. We shouldn't pollute our mother earth. Our mother earth takes care of us. We should take care of her. That's right. Everybody knows that. Everybody says that. But why doesn't everybody follow that? There are only some people who follow that. We all should be the change we want to see in the world. So let's go green. Let's be environment friendly. And let's stop pollution together by taking little steps. Like making videos, making posters, making drawings, writing poems. We can spread this message through any medium. But we have to study for our motherhood. Go green, breathe green. Don't be mean and deadly. Instead, be environment friendly. Thank you. I hope you have a nice day. So children, I hope that you have learned uh, something new in the PowerPoint uh, presentation and you will explore these features of PowerPoint presentation and make your own effective and interesting presentation. So thanks for watching the video. I hope this video will be helpful for you all and stay safe and keep learning. Thank you.